Okay, in this video we are going to be looking at expanding, uh, using the binomial expansion, 3 plus x over the square root of 4 plus x. And we're going to do this up to the x squared term. So, first things first, uh, we want to be able to rewrite this um, as a product first. That's really what you're going to have to do. Now, 4 plus x uh, square rooted is 4 plus x to the half. So this is the same as 3 plus x times by 4 plus x to the minus a half. Okay, that's your first step. Now, we can't work with the binomial expansion of 4 plus x to the minus a half because it's not 1 plus or 1 minus something. So we're going to have to take the 4 outside. We're going to have to factorise what is inside that bracket first. So we've got 3 plus x times 4 lots of 1 plus a quarter x, all to the power of minus a half. Now I can take that 4 outside, so I'm going to have 4 to the minus a half, 3 plus x, 1 plus a quarter x to the minus a half. Now 4 to the minus a half is 1 over 4 to the half, so 1 over 2, so 1 half and I'm going to multiply that by the 3 plus x. So I'm going to have 3 halves plus 1 half x times 1 plus a quarter x to the minus a half. So now I am ready to use the binomial expansion, okay? Because that is what I can expand. So I've got that 3 halves plus 1 half x. I'm going to have to leave that alone for the time being. Now we're going to be using the um, binomial expansion um, formula, which is in the formula booklet for 1 plus a quarter x to the minus a half. So we've got 1 plus nx, so that's minus a half times a quarter x, plus n times n minus 1, all over 1 times 2, times by x squared, which is going to be a quarter x squared. Um, so make sure brackets going around the quarter x, square the whole thing, plus other things, okay? Other uh, terms, but because we're only doing it up to x squared. Right, we're now going to want to simplify this. So, calculate at the ready. Um, 1 take away an eighth x, then we've got this minus a half, times by minus a half, take away one, divide by two, so that can be three eighths, multiplied by one sixteenth, which is three over 128, so I've got plus three over 128 x squared, plus other terms. Right, okay, so now, we want to multiply these brackets out. I want to expand these brackets. But I only want to do it up to the x squared term, remember. So I've got the 3 halves times the 1, so I'm going to have 3 halves. I've got the 3 halves times the minus 1 eighth. So minus uh, 3 sixteenths x. I've got the 3 halves times the 3 over 128. So 3 over 128 times by 3 divided by 2 is 9 over 256x squared, plus other terms. Okay, so 3 halves is going to multiply with the other terms, but I don't need to worry about them. Then I've got the 1 half x times the 1. So it's useful to put the x's and the x squareds together. So 1 half x, and then I've got 1 half x times the minus 1 eighth x, so that's minus 1 sixteenth x squared. And then you've got the 1 half x times the 3 over 128 x squared, but that's going to give you an x cubed term, so I don't need to worry about it. So I've got the 3 halves, minus 3 sixteenths, uh, plus a half is 5 sixteenths, so 3 halves plus 5 sixteenths x, and then 9 over 256, take away 1 over 16, 
is minus 7 over 256 x squared. And there are other terms, but I only need to go up to the x squared term.